What is up guys, Fixin today I bring you another Sony Vegas tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make a gun zoom out effect like this. So if we play this from the beginning here, he runs through and as he scopes, uh, the scope goes small and twists a bit and then that's pretty much it. You can change this around a lot, um, you can just customize this however you like, you can make it twist more, make it last longer or slower. So we will be using uh, velocity for this tutorial and um, also just Marty, so it's a pretty basic thing. But um, yeah, so let's get started with the tutorial. So open up Sony Vegas, and I already have my clip in here, although you will not, so just whatever clip you want to use doesn't really matter, you just need a sniper clip. I'm using a Black Ops uh, 3 clip, so as you can tell, it does have the um, double rendering, which means there is the, you don't just have black around the scope, and you still have your HUD there when you're ADSing. So your HUD doesn't disappear, and you have like double rendering around the edges. It's a bit difficult to see on this clip as there he is um, actually taking damage here so there's blood effects but um, on other games like Black Ops 2 it was just all black around here so it, the effect may work a bit better but it doesn't really matter, it still works really well. So just import your clip, I reckon just having a bit before and after it, don't just have it starting straight away like as you can see here I have a bit before and then I have a bit afterwards. So the longer the clip is, like the longer you're ADSing, obviously not like hard scoping, but if the clip lasts for more than a second, like this one is pretty quick actually, which is uh, you may have to extend it a bit, or if it's too long, you might have to shrink it a bit, but we'll get to that later. So the first thing you want to do is find where you ADS. So just go somewhere near it and just use your right arrow key, and then just go along and and this is where he first ADSs, so right click and hit split. And then go across and go all the way until just before he fires. So as you can see the like flame effect or the bullet shot effect is here. So just go one frame to the left just before he shoots, right click and hit split again. Now you're going to, before I continue, make sure you disable resampling on all of these clips. Um, just whenever you're doing one touch, this is 60 FPS clip and I'm editing in 60 FPS. Although I believe I'll be uploading this in 30, so you might not be able to tell, but if you are editing, make sure it's either in 60 or even if it is in 60, just uh, go right click properties and disable resampling. It will just stop you getting that blurry, fuzzy, like it like does a ghosting effect to uh, make it look a bit smoother, which looks fine when you're recording people, but with gameplay, it just looks shocking. So make sure you do that first. Anyway, so this is your clip. Now as you can see, this doesn't last very long, so what I'm going to do is just hold control and extend this out a bit. So if I play this, it just lasts a bit longer. Um, you don't have to do this, this is just what I prefer to do. So this lasts about, uh, let's see, yeah, so this lasts about a second is about how long you want. So I'll make it about there, about a second. If you're syncing up to music, about one beat of the song is what sounds good. Although, that I'm not going to go into detail with that now because obviously I don't have any music here. So, what we want to do is right click and go to insert slash remove envelope and hit velocity. Now, this is velocity. What this does is like slows it down and then speeds it up again. So, go in and hit uh, about 10 frames in. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, just hit right arrow key uh, 10 times and then just double click there and that will create a frame right there. And then do the same on this end. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then double click. Now, you're also going to want to create one on the end. And then, zoom in a bit here, just drag that up. Then right click on it and hit slow fade. And then drag this up, right click, and then, oh, sorry, hit fast fade. So, they should both be curving like this on either end. Now, if we play this back, you notice the speed changes, it goes slow and then it speeds up again. So I play this through here. Yeah, so it goes like slow and then a speed normal and then speeds back up again. So once you've done that, what you're going to do is go to the first frame here and then hit the uh, pan and crop button. Now this is where you're going to want to create a mask. So you'll just be seeing this middle circle area. So what we're going to do is click over here on the oval or circle mask tool and then just anywhere in your screen just create a circle now obviously you can edit this so just make this 
Uh, in other CODs, obviously, it'll have a black background already, so you just have to go and see whatever footage there is. But since there's a HUD all around this, I'm just going to do it like this, uh, not showing. You can do it showing part of the gun around it, but I don't think it looks as good as in like like that, sort of, but I prefer it like this. So just do that for a second. Make sure you're not showing anything around it. Make sure it's pretty close to a circle. And as you can see over here, I think that looks pretty good. So you're going to click over on your... That's the, for the mask, and you're just going to leave that. Now you're going to click over here on the bottom left. Let me show you a bit. Uh, click on position, and click on this keyframe. And then go to the right 10 frames. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then what you're going to want to do here is uh, hold control and zoom out. And then what you're going to make sure that you have ticked are these two. So lock aspect ratio and size about center. Make sure these are both ticked. Um, also make sure this button is ticked. Uh, seat cursor just all of them need to be ticked or this will not work as well. It will just make it really hard. So you're going to make this about that size. You can do this however you like really. This is just how I do it, so do it about there. And then you're going to go to the end and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 frames, and then just double click to add a keyframe there. And I'm going to make this even smaller. Now, I like to rotate this a bit. You don't have to, so this way you can change the size, how much it's rotating, all of that stuff you can change later. But this is just how I like it. You can spend a lot more time on this. Um, and then go to the end and go up here to preset. Um, now you may have more or less if you've saved some resets, but just hit default uh, for the last frame there. Now you can just hit this X button. And if we play this back. Okay, so I finished running it. So we're just gonna open this here. Actually, I'll pause this for a sec. Um, now I made the mistake of having a fade in, so you can actually see the background at the beginning, but oh well. So let's just play this through here. So as you can see, really sick effect, um, I just think this looks so cool. Uh, just really, really good effect, um, looks really sick. So yeah, you can tweak with this a lot as much as you like, you can do different backgrounds. Um, you can just have, you can leave the background black if you want, but yeah, just really cool effect. So. One thing I recommend about what you put in the background, um, if I go to my downloads where I have this clip, as you can see this clip actually is moving forward, uh, like towards the center, and the camera is like moving away, which is what is happening in our clip with the way we've edited it. So a clip that moves away from the center uh, does make the effect look a lot better, rather than just a still or one moving left to right. Something that's moving away from the center and also spinning a bit just really does make the effect uh, look a ton better. So I'll put a download to those two like galaxy backgrounds in the description below. So you guys, that is pretty much it. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, see you next one. See you guys. Bye.